useful, right? But usually, once he gets pretty far in there and he's got my knee under control, the one thing that I can really do that messes everything up is if I rotate my foot this way, right? And from here, once I've rotated my foot, I'm usually gonna go ahead and release this stuff and get out of here, right? What could I, what could I do from here? Well, this could just be an escape where I come up on top or I could pull his leg across here and I can actually cross body ankle lock Tyler. And what I'd like to do is bend his knee out this way, step on the outside of it, put this across my tummy and then shoot my hips forward. Yeah, I've done this before um, with me. It's, it's not really the way that it's normally thought or anything like that, but it works super well, right? It's very, very good. So the idea here is again, Tyler's on top, he's got you know, working this pass, it slides me under, boom, controls my knee so well that I only can go this way. Right, it only can go this way with my knee. And here I block and get this leg out of the way, passes to the other side, right? Once I'm here, I'm just trying to keep his leg bent. I could still hit a heel hook from here, but I'm gonna do this. Take advantage of the fact that my leg's really far through. And then I just come up onto my elbow, push my hip forward. And I can take a pretty nasty submission, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and get a few reps on this one. Maybe a little confusing. Hopefully